Hi, welcome to Math Boost Camp. In this lesson, we're going to learn to convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions. Recall that a proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator, such as 3 fifth, 1 eighth, and 16 25th. When the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator, the fraction is called an improper fraction. They are top heavy fractions like 7 fifth, 6 6, 30 11th. Whole numbers can be represented as improper fractions, where the whole number acts as the numerator with a denominator of 1. For example, 5 can be written as 5 over 1, and they represent the same value. Let's convert each improper fraction to a mixed number, which is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. To convert 17 fifth into a mixed number, you divide the numerator 17 by the denominator 5. 5 can go into 17 3 times with a remainder of 2. The quotient 3 is the whole number part, and the remainder 2 becomes the numerator of the fraction, while the original denominator remains the same. Therefore, 17 fifth as a mixed number is 3 and 2 fifth. Let's convert 49 ninths to a mixed number. Divide the numerator by the denominator. 9 can go into 49 five times with a remainder of 4. The quotient 5 is the whole number part, and the remainder becomes the numerator and the divisor as the denominator. So you get 5 and 4 ninths. When you're changing a mixed number to an improper fraction, spiral clockwise is shown in the picture. First you multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then add by the numerator. The order of operations will help you remember to multiply before you add. This results in 13 thirds. Notice that the denominator remains the same, while the whole number is no longer present, transforming into a top-heavy fraction. Let's practice converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. Starting at the denominator and spiraling clockwise, we multiply 3 by 8, resulting in 24. Next, we add 2, giving us 26 as a numerator, while the denominator remains unchanged. Now let's convert 9 and 7 tenth to an improper fraction. Multiplying the denominator by the whole number results in 90. Adding 7 to this gives us 97, which becomes our numerator with a denominator of 10. Now you're ready to practice these skills independently and boost your confidence. Please check the description below to download the worksheet on this topic, along with the answer key. See you in the next lesson!